welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have bought quite an extensive amount of fabric in the last month. My bank is definitely not happy with me, but it's all great. It's all, it's all, it's all fine. So I swear, absolutely, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I thought I will show you my fabric haul for the month of August. I don't tend to splurge out and buy a lot of bulk fabric but in this case I have so I thought it'd be fun to show you what kind of fabrics I got and the types of materials and what I plan to do with them in the future so let's get to it this is the pile of fabric if you haven't gathered I bought all this fabric from several different shops and online stores I know the composition of the fabrics that I bought online, but the ones I bought in store, I'm a little bit unsure, but I know what kind of... I can give you an idea what type of fabric it is, so I'm going to go through this right now. So the first one I have is this really cute Scottish kind of dog blue print. It is gorgeous. This is a poly cotton mixture. It was $1.99 per metre and I have two meters of this. I think I plan in making some sort of like pajama bottoms or some really nice casual throw on trousers that I can just slip on on days when I'm off or days when I just come home from work and I just wanna slip into something comfortable. It's a fairly thick fabric, which means I won't have to put any kind of lining to it. So that's really good. And I got this fabric from Abican. This next fabric I have is this really cute toy soldier fabric. This is 100% uh, cotton and I also got this from Abican. It was £2.26 a metre and I have two metres of this as well. I kind of plan on making some really cool sort of cargo trousers with this. However, the fabric is rather thin. It is virtually almost see-through. So I think I will be putting a lining in with this, which is quite interesting to put in trousers. And I really liked it because it's in my sort of quirky sort of style that I'm in it to at the minute. So I'm trying to add more prints into my wardrobe as I'm very much a plain colour person and I have virtually no prints in my wardrobe. So I've been slowly trying to incorporate some prints to lighten up my wardrobe and give it a bit more pedazz, so to speak. And because my sort of aesthetic is with the basic primary colours, uh, including green and black and white. This sort of really goes very well because I could put a red top with this, a blue one or a yellow one, or I can simply put a black top with it or maybe not white just so I don't look too washed out, but I think it'll look very cute and I'm thinking maybe adding a chain to the waistband. So yeah, I think this would look really super cute and adorable. So next I have this sort of blue diamonds sort of stitch print. I got this from my local store called Boys in my local town. I can't remember the cost of this fabric. I want to say it was about $1.99 a metre, maybe $2.99. So I only have one metre of this fabric and it is 100% cotton as well. I'm thinking of making like a really cute dress with this fabric, maybe a bodycon or maybe an A-line dress. Yeah, I just quite liked it. I don't have many sort of dark royal blues in my wardrobe. It's very hard for me to find a top, a pair of trousers or skirt maybe that is royal blue. It's either too light blue or too navy. I can't get that royal blue and I know this is a little bit more navy but I really did like the print and I thought it'd be really cute to make a dress out of it. This next fabric is 100% cotton again and it's this navy blue with this sort of leaf like, oh I want to say, I want to say it's flowers. I want to say it's like, I want to say it's like a cotton plant but I don't think that makes any sense at all. I really like this print as well. I think I'm making a dress out of this one. I have two meters of this and I do believe this was around five to six pounds per meter. And I got this in a fabric shop near Cleethorpes. Can't remember the name of the store, but they sell 100% cotton fabrics only. They don't sell anything else. It's more like a quilting store. Uh, with wool and ex other accessories um, so all their fabric is 100% cotton so you can make sort of patchwork quilts and stuff no I really like this fabric again I'm thinking of making a really cute dress out of it probably more of an A-line dress but yeah I just found this really cute and adorable 
the next fabric I have is again 100% cotton from that same store in Cleethorpes. It has these really cute doves. Oh, they're not doves, they're storks. I thought they were doves. Um, no, they're, they're storks. Uh, and it's got sort of like a silver sort of stitch or print woven into the fabric as well. I've always wanted a mandarin style dress to sort of go close towards my heritage. And I didn't want the typical mandarin sort of print, I kind of wanted my own sort of style to it. So I saw this fabric and I thought it was really cute. Again, this is 100% cotton. This was about 9 99 per metre and I do believe I have two metres of this fabric. Yeah, two metres of this fabric as well. I'm also into sort of retro prints to put in with my wardrobe as well because I love vintage retro styles. And I got this red and white polka dot which is typical retro pattern. I've only got a metre of this fabric because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to make out of this. Again, it's 100% cotton from the same fabric store in Cleethorpes. But I'm thinking maybe like a really cute top with a little collar or maybe a pair of shorts. I'm not quite sure what I want to make out of this yet. Maybe I'll make one of my play suits since I know I can make one in a meters fabric. But I just thought it was really retro and I don't have a red and white polka dot in my wardrobe and I thought I need something in my wardrobe that's red or white polka dot to sort of go with my bunny retro vintage dress that I made. So next I have this kind of stretch jersey material, sort of stretch rib jersey material. It's yellow, black and white stripe. It's very thin so it's, it's probably more t-shirt jersey with a rib into it. This is from a store again also in Cleethorpe's area and I have about a meter of this fabric. I think I'm gonna make maybe a body contrast with this or maybe just like a rib top, maybe a long sleeve rib top because I don't have many long sleeve tops in my wardrobe and then maybe I can make a matching skirt to go with it. It is, it is a thin fabric that's the only thing so I probably need to add a maybe a little bit structure into this. But this was 9.99 a metre and I don't really have many mustard, well, I, I have a lot of mustard yellow in my wardrobe but again with prints I don't have many mustard yellow prints in my wardrobe so I thought this would be a great addition to my style and aesthetic. So the last thing in Cleethorpe sort of stores is this sort of mustard yellow sweatshirt fleece material. So you've got sort of a fleece area on one side and then sort of the jumper sort of sweatshirt on the other side. It's not got a very small stretch in it but not a lot. I've always wanted a jumper dress. It's something I've sort of wanted to add into my wardrobe but I've never found one that wasn't even made from a wool material or in the colour that I like or in my size. So I thought I would make my own with this. But then I got the rib from a store on eBay called Neo Trims, which not sponsored, but highly recommend, love their fabric range. And I got this yellow rib to go with it. And unfortunately it's a slightly different yellow. <laughs> it doesn't quite go with this sort of mustard yellow and then this vibrant sort of bumblebee color. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the finishing on this fabric because I kind of wanted the rib bottom and then the rib cuffs and then the rib neckline and unfortunately this isn't the right colour. So what I may do is buy their colour in this material, make the jumper dress out of this colour and then maybe just make something else out of this fabric. Uh, this is this was rather cheap, this was $12.99 a metre and I've only got a metre of this fabric. And then this rib slash waistband sort of cuff, I have two strips of these, they're a metre long each and about 20 centimetres depth I believe and these two were $8.99 for two strips. But as I say, they are the wrong colour, I was hoping they would match similarly but it's One's quite dull and then one's quite bright, so it doesn't quite go, unfortunately. Next, I got this African print from eBay from a store called AfroLink Textiles. I've got two meters of this fabric and it's £6.49 per meter. The only downside of this material was 
When I purchased it online, it was more of a, a lighter blue with yellow bows from what the image shows and it's come as an orange and quite a dark blue background. I still like it because I only have one orange thing in my wardrobe which is a jumper. So I thought this would actually look really cute as like a really nice A-line and then pleated skirt. So that's what I think I will be making with this fabric. This fabric is also 100% cotton, which I prefer. I don't like using poly cottons. I prefer using 100% cottons where I can get it. I think I will have to wash this fabric though before I start sewing just because I've got a feeling just from the edges it looks like this is gonna bleed and stain my sewing machine like mad so I already have my sewing machine stained red I would, would not like it to then start staining blue so I am going to probably have to wash this fabric before I start using it. Next I have this VW sort of camper van fabric in this turquoise colour I also got this on eBay from a seller called Crafty Textile. I seen a print similar to this on Pound Fabrics, however it was completely sold out and they had uh, sort of retro cars in the turquoise background which I loved so I tried to find something similar somewhere else and I found this on eBay. It is 100% cotton. I don't have this turquoise colour in my wardrobe at the moment but I'm thinking of making a really cool pair of cargo trousers with this because a lot of my trousers I have skinny sort of trousers with prints on them but they're black and white prints and then I have a lot of flowy trousers that are just one colour either green, blue, red so on so I don't really have many pattern I have my skull trousers that I made in a previous video so I was hoping to make some more, but I want to make more cargo like trousers so I'll be buying quite a lot of rib cuffs from Neo Trims on eBay to then match with all my cargo trousers that I want to make. Next all these fabrics I'm about to show you are all from Pound Fabrics. I love Pound Fabrics. I don't know why because I don't know if I'm expecting any good quality from there but you can get a lot of cheap fabric and quite a lot of bulk and it comes very quickly as well so so I, I love the store so first I have this broken lines sort of poly cotton fabric it is it's almost like a beige with sort of white as I say broken lines prints on it this was seven pounds for three meters which is pretty cool I'm not sure what I want to make out of this because it has this sort of gold vibe to it and I don't know whether it's going to be get some gold trimming to add to this or maybe just make a pair of trousers, a top, maybe I'll make a play suit. Ooh, a play suit. Oh, I think I know what I'm making now. I think I'm going to be making a, not a play suit, a jumpsuit, I meant to say jumpsuit, uh, out of this. Oh, that sounds like a really cool idea. I'm going to make a jumpsuit. But I don't know what I'll do with the rest because I know that three meters is way, way too many to make just a jumpsuit. So I have to maybe make a top out of this. Maybe I'll make a bag, a pencil case. Ooh, a new makeup bag. I've been wanting a new makeup bag actually. So that's another fabric I've bought. Next, I have this sort of neon yellow and black sort of grid like pattern. Again, this was two pounds per meter and I have three meters of this, so that's six pounds altogether for three meters. I'm not sure what I want to make. I kind of want to make a matching trouser and top, sort of crop top set. Again, cargo trousers because that's my jam at the moment. It's quite thin, but it's not see-through, which is good. So it does mean I can make something without things showing. Also, because it's that color, it, it, it will blend a lot. Uh, into my skin. I could make another jumpsuit out of this. I don't, I have jumpsuits but because I'm small and petite they don't fit properly and I've had to adjust them or they're three quarter length in the trouser or the straps are too long so maybe I'll make a jumpsuit out of this as well as a matching top and trouser set. My idea is I can make a coat. Can, do people wear cotton coats? If I add 
some interface infrastructure, aligning, could this be a coat? Like a long blazer trench coat. I'm just, I'm just coming up with ideas. Next I have what I like to call the Toy Story fabric for some reason. It just reminds me of Andy's wallpaper. I don't know why, but I love this. This is like a yellow and blue splodge print and it's 100% cotton as well. I have only two meters of this. I wish I got more. Um, but I'm going to definitely make a pair of cargo trousers. When I saw this, I thought cargo trousers, definitely. This was three pound a meter, which is why I think I only got two meters of this fabric because then it's nine. I mean, nine pound for three meters is n like cheap as anything, but because I was buying a lot of things already, I had to cut maybe a few meters down somewhere. Um, but I was thinking of making a pair of cargo trousers. I think there may be enough to make a matching crop top to go with it as well. I love this fabric. I don't know why, it's just, just drawn to me. And I don't have this bright colour in my wardrobe. I have very bold colours in my wardrobe, so this will give me a little bit more fun to play with. I'm not sure what tops I will put with it that I currently have. I may have to make a few to go with this because I don't think, I don't have this sort of neon yellow and I definitely don't have this turquoise in my wardrobe. I have a white polo top which may go with it and I have black tops as well which may go with it again but I don't really have anything possibly to go so we'll definitely have to think of tops to go with this. Next I have this green and white striped cotton fabric. Now I was expecting this fabric to be very much the same as the other ones that I got from Pound Fabrics but no! This is like a cotton drill. This is thick. This is like denim thick. I mean, <laughs> I've got three meters of this. <gasps> oh my God. Also, this was one pound 50 a meter. Can you believe that? One pound 50 a meter. I mean, this only cost me four pound 50 and it's good quality thick cotton i've got no idea what i'm gonna make with this because i was expecting it to be thin so i'm thinking pair of trousers maybe not cargo because it may be too thick for that but maybe a pair of dungarees like a long pair of dungarees that might be cute to make out of this maybe a coat a jacket i don't know this has thrown my game off. This is the only problem with pound fabrics is you're not quite sure what you're buying until it arrives. And then your ideas may change drastically. But yes, oh, I'm excited. I don't know, but I'm excited. And it's the green that I like, which is this sort of emerald green. That's my favorite color, emerald green, as opposed to uh, a lime green or gr a grass green. I like the dark emerald green, but not too dark that it becomes, you know, like green velvet. So, yeah. Loki green is what I say, Loki green. But yeah, oh, I've got no idea what I'm gonna do. And then lastly, I have this red and white grid fabric, which is made of a wool type composition. I had no idea what I was expecting and I am blown away. It has this sort of backing to it so it's probably, so it's not a real wall I don't think but it is quite also thin for wool as well. It's more, if you ever bought melting wool you know what I'm talking about. It's quite this thin wool, which would, is good because it will go through my machine, no problem. Also, I was just like ecstatic when it came. I, I don't know what I was expecting when it said wool. I was thinking something thick, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I have two meters of this fabric and it was four pound a meter, which is cheap and I know exactly, I'm gonna make a trench coat, I already know. I'm gonna have to buy some red lining or white lining and I'm gonna make a trench coat. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to make 
uh, another trench coat. I've made one for my collection at university and I've, I've, been, I've been wanting to make another one. So I'm excited about this. And I don't know whether I'm gonna include a hood because I've only got two meters and it's got to do length, long sleeves, any sort of accessories. So if I decide to make maybe a yoke or pockets, you know, all those things have to be taken into consideration. That is something I'm definitely gonna be showing you guys when I get round to it. And it's so soft, I mean, I was surprised. I was so... Oh, how can I have bought this for eight quid? That is just what I'm in disbelief with. So these are all the fabrics. I just... Oh, I cannot wait to get started. I have so many projects now that I don't know where to start. I think I'll be starting with the cargo trousers because there's a few that I want to make cargo trousers into. And then I have my anniversary coming up in... October so it'd be nice to make a dress for that but we'll see if I have time to fit around work and everything but yeah I thought this was just be a fun little fabric haul for you guys I'll put a link down below of the ones that I bought online uh, so that you can go and check it out yourself obviously if you view this video in way into the future they might not be there anymore but you can still look at the fabric stores I like them because for me they're affordable. I'm not necessarily looking for quality at the moment. If I'm looking for quality that'll be more towards my collections. What I'm just making for myself I like just to find anything and I'm not too bothered by uh, the quality. I want something that's going to last but that'll be on how I make it I think as opposed to the fabric because you can make something look cheap look very expensive. which is always the challenge so thanks for watching everybody if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so that you can see more content just like this you can also follow me on instagram and facebook and i also have a patreon where i post behind the scenes and exclusive content just for you to get your hands on thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you in the next one